think I got a package. I heard the doorbell earlier today, but I never bothered to check. Woo! So bright. And we did. Front splitter for my front bumper. And we'll open that. I figured I might as well start vlogging a little more often on this channel because you guys seem to enjoy watching me um, as opposed to just watching my hand move a pencil across a piece of paper. So, more vlogs for you on this channel. Anyways, today you guys are in for a special treat. There is an auto body shop in Calgary called Tuner Works. And these guys have invited a famous bodybuilder, car bodybuilder, uh, named Akira Nakai to come and customize a Porsche for them. This guy's renowned, known throughout the entire automotive world for his bodywork on Porsches. You have to buy the body kit from his company and then you actually have to get him to come down and install the body kit himself. And the company is called Rau Welt Begriff. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it's a German inspired Porsche body kit manufacturer company owned by this Japanese dude. All right, I'm gonna try to get him to sign my copy of Need for Speed. And also maybe this Hot Wheels toy. Now I know there's a couple he's built already floating around in North America. Actually a few, some in Canada, but none in Alberta. So this is gonna be the first Calgary stepping up their game. Tuner Works specifically. So, super excited. We're gonna make our way down there in a bit. We're gonna see what's inside this box. And if it's the front splitter, maybe we'll have time to install it. All right, handy dandy knife. Stand it up here. Wait a second. That's way too late to be a splitter. Oh shit. It's a visor. It's a window visor. I ordered this thing to go on the rear window of my FRS. You guys are wondering, the brand is HIC and it's a rear roof spoiler. So, you know what? This probably won't take all that long to install, so let's just do it. Ta da Rear roof visor. Alright, let's do this. a bit here. It should be okay. Yeah. That's pretty decent. Really quick installation actually. It took like 10 minutes because I had to clean it and stuff. See a bird? It doesn't look half bad. Bungai! Bungai! Let's make our way to Tuner Works. I think we're almost here. There's a lot of people lined up outside already. There's tuner works to see it. All right. I just wanted to check out this car over here. This thing is fucking mint, dude. What the fuck? What's going on? There he is. Oh my god. That thing was beautiful. So I guess everyone's just like following him now. <laughs>
Mission accomplished. I touched his hand. Just kidding. We're gonna walk around the building and see if there's any other like modded cars we can find. On this beautiful 8086. So we decided we're gonna take a couple of shots while we're here. Might as well. Traffic. Woo! Perfect. Dude, this is badass. Yo, nice S2K, dude. So dope. Woo. This is so scary. Every time. All right. The light that usually goes on top of my camera, well, I dropped my camera and caused a scene and everyone was just like, <gasps> this thing snapped while it was on my shoulder and it just dropped on the floor and everyone thought I broke my camera. It fell straight on the light and this is what it looks like now. So I'm gonna have to just buy a new light or try to fix it, it looks fixable. And I'm actually gonna meet up with my buddy, Eddie, in a bit here, so, uh, yeah, I just uh, I figured I'd come stop by at home. We're gonna take a couple of shots of our cars at the local park because that's what we car guys do. I got him to sign the Hot Wheels and my copy of Need for Speed, which actually a lot of people got him to sign. People were getting him to sign their phone cases, their steering wheels. Speaking of which, um, we got another package. This might actually be my steering wheel. Uh, let's open it up and check it out. Shout out to FT86 Speed Factory for always throwing in the Laffy Taffy. So I got a quick, oh my god. So I got a steering wheel set up. I'm still waiting on the steering wheel because I didn't get it from the same website. But the brand is Energy. We have the short hub as well as the quick release attachment. I'm trying to follow this theme of black and green and white. Well, so we're mainly sticking to green for uh, the motif of my car or my sign FRS. I just had to get these. Their main slogan is go for green. Let's see this parts, parts, parts. Of course, I'm gonna need a racing seat. I just wanna see what it looks like. I'm pretty stoked. Everything had to be green. So this part goes on the steering wheel. New prints, that's pretty badass. That wasn't even all that hard to fix. Check it. But it makes such a big difference. See, tan, white, tan. Pretty sure, um, Everything's all self-explanatory. Uh, FT86 Speed Factor actually shows you, so that's awesome. This, uh, nice box. This is the short hub, uh, specifically made to uh, fit with a Cyan FRS BRZ ZN6 chassis. But I'm gonna be doing an install video on those when I get the steering wheel in, which is also black and green to fit the theme. Like everything else, black and green, black and green. What a guan! Guan is what a guan. Yo, you missed out, bro. I didn't know. I saw your screen. And I'll come meet you anywhere. Alright, man. Uh, We can meet up at the top of my hill. Sure. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll let you know when uh, I'm on the way. Alright, I'll see you in the back. Right. Peace. <laughs> Peace. Woo! The sun's bright, but it's a good thing. There he is. Pew, pew! Kanjo! Kanjo series, bro. 
You missed out! No, oh, man, it's still there. It's gonna be there forever. You'll see it driving the streets of Calgary. It's apparently 30K to get him to come here, like with a kid and everything. And like, that's paying for his expenses, his food and all that shit. And it only takes him four days flat. Focus, that you cannot bother him. Like. It's only just, it's one dude working on it, right? And a couple, uh, a Oh no, Ooh. Camaro. Camaro. Not bad. V8. Yeah. Oh, wow. That power. Alright, so I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here. Um, if you guys want to get updated on when new videos come out on this channel, make sure you subscribe. Damn, Daniel! Frick. It's like every time anyone around me says, damn, I always have to interrupt and finish it off with Daniel. Also, this year I plan on building a race car. Uh, shout out to Tuna Works for inviting us to the unveiling of this RWB. The first one in Alberta. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I promised myself that I would actually get a little more acquainted with my car and try to do most of the modifications, future modifications myself. Uh, whereas last year, I kind of did it the lazy way and like I mean for the things that I really didn't know how to do I left it to the professionals but this year I promised myself that I try to do modifications by myself that way I learn a little more about the car um, through personal experience and if you guys don't already know I'm actually gonna be doing my own wide body conversion and I have all of the pieces lying around in this basement I'm probably gonna drive up to Vancouver where my buddy is lending me his garage and his expertise and he's gonna be helping me install it so what this means is I'm also gonna be cutting up the body of my FRS now I'm still waiting for a few parts um, I'm not gonna be doing my wide body conversion until I know I have everything that I need especially wheels but I'm also waiting on a new front bumper and I'm not gonna tell you guys which one yet until it does arrive it's usually around this time that people use their tax refund money to start buying car parts but even though I don't have a job and I'm basically like evading tax because once spring and summer hit that's when you start putting all of the parts onto the car if you live in Canada and uh yeah it's it's about that time <laughs>